Hi, I'm Paige. Welcome to the Manchester Community Library. We have a very busy week coming up ahead of us and I'm looking forward to telling you all about what's happening. First things first, this Monday, July 17th, we have a new exercise class. It's going to start at 9.15 and it's going to run for about a half an hour. This class is called Pumped Up. It's a fitness class designed to help those with Parkinson's disease move better and feel stronger. Pumped Up incorporates strength training, boxing, and balancing exercises to help those with PD improve their functional fitness level. So come join us for a 30 minute workout. All levels are welcome. On Monday in the evening, the Jewish Film Festival is going to continue with its next film, Jews of the Wild West. Now this is a feature length documentary. It's an independent not-for-profit film and it was produced by Electric Yolk Media and directed by award-winning filmmaker Amanda, Amanda Kinsey. Through on-camera interviews, compelling footage, and historical photographs, the film tells a positive immigration story and highlights the dynamic contributions Jewish Americans made to shaping the Western United States. The documentary was funded through individual donors, grants, and crowdsourcing. On Tuesday, our special guest star story time continues with Beth Tegart. So come join Beth and you're going to be reading all about frogs this week. Tuesday evening, Gmall returns with its part two of If the Trump Presidency Signaled the End of an Era, What Lies Ahead? So in part two, they're going to be talking about after 40 years of neoliberal politics and economic policy, are we about to turn a corner? Is the Reagan era coming to an end? If so, what might follow? Is Biden's unexpectedly progressive economic policy a harbinger of things to come or merely the last gasp of the New Deal thinking? So in this part two, uh, our guest speaker is Peter Radford, who is the publisher of Radford Free Press, a blog on economics covering contemporary issues and the state of economic theory. More broadly, he is also a writer and a consultant on economics and business theory. He is the co-founder and serves on the executive committee in World Economics Association. Now again, this is a GMAL event, and if you're interested, you can apply and you can get a ticket on their website for $22. However, GMAL has graciously donated 10 seats to all Manchester Community uh, Library patrons. And if you are interested in getting a free seat for the presentation, go on to the library website where you can register in advance. Make sure you do so in advance. All tickets are non-transferable and you have to have be registered before the evening of the event. On Thursday this week, we have our monthly group that meets, A Place of Inclusion. So are you filled with questions or looking for guidance? Do you have a child or friend or family member who is living with special needs or disabilities? This is the place to come. This is a social engagement where anybody who is interested in getting together as a community has the ability to talk, ask questions, learn information, meet new people. Everybody is welcome. All abilities are welcome. All ages are welcome. So please join us on Thursday the 20th from 5 to 6 p.m. in the Children's Library. Also on Thursday, at 5.30, we have a special presentation that is on the Vermont Old Cemetery Association. So the Vermont Old Cemetery Association has been involved in the preservation and restoration of Vermont cemeteries since 1958. Tom Giffen, who is the president of VOCA since 2001, is going to present on the history and the purpose of the organization, as well as the historic intrinsic value of cemeteries current issues facing cemeteries and what municipalities are doing to preserve their old burial grounds using community resources will also be discussed. Now, Tom holds two master's degrees in education and was a licensed social studies and English teacher. He spent many years uh, doing genealogical research in countless cemeteries in Vermont, which has led to his interest in per preserving Vermont's burial grounds. So please do make sure you come uh, see this interesting presentation about the Vermont Old Cemetery Association. Learn about VOCA and what it focuses on. That is on Thursday, July 20th from 5 to 7 p.m. On Saturday, our special programming for uh, the summer continues with a capoeira demonstration and uh, workshop. So capoeira, if you are unaware, is a dynamic and energizing Afro-Brazilian martial art that was created by enslaved people from Africa during the colonization of Brazil. This is a one-hour program, and it's going to begin by introducing capoeira as a unique movement practice and sharing a bit of its rich history. But members of the school who are presenting this demonstration, uh, who are in Northampton, are then going to demonstrate uh, individual capoeira rota and games with live music. So they're going to teach the audience how to add energy to the circle with clapping and singing and an easy call and response song in Portuguese. Everybody will have the opportunity to learn beginning acrobatic musics, the basic ginga step, and practice kicks and escapes with partners to get a feel for the rhythm and the play of capoeira. So this is going to be quite an exciting uh, um, event, and this is going to be taking place at 11 o'clock on Saturday the 22nd. 
so please make sure you join us for that. You do not want to miss this particular day. Also on Saturday, immediately following our Capoeira de uh, demonstration and workshop, uh, from 12 to 2 p.m., we have a special event in the library, Literacy for All. Did you know that the barriers to reading and learning, such as dyslexia, affect one in five people? Join the library, Miss Vermont Teen and Miss Vermont, for a discussion on topics of reading and learning the obstacles that many of us face in school. So children, their parents, guardians, teachers, and all of those who are interested in learning and reading are invited to attend. The Manchester Community Library wants to hear from you. We will discuss what it is like to have a disability that is not obvious to everyone, such as dyslexia or autism, and how one can learn to navigate learning disability with success. Ms. Vermont teen Ginger Regatius will discuss her personal journey with a hidden disability and defying limits, breaking down the invisible barriers of a hidden disability, an organization she founded. Ms. Vermont, Yamuna Turco, will discuss her literacy efforts with One Book, One Child, which focuses on improving childhood literacy through increasing access to books in schools and libraries. We're looking forward to hearing from children, parents, guardians, teachers, and anybody interested in reading, learning, and overcoming the barriers of reading and learning in this very important conversation. This event is offered as part of Libraries Transforming Communities, Accessible Small and Rural Communities, an initiative of the American Library Association in collaboration with the Association of Rural and Small Libraries. So to do please make sure you uh, join in on this conversation. It is going to be interesting and enlightening for sure. It's going to be from 12 to 2 on Saturday the 22nd. And our Saturday and week of programming gets rounded out with a concert on Saturday evening from 5 to 7 p.m. This is the Bennington Traditional Jazz Band, and you do not want to miss them. They put on quite the show. The Bennington Traditional Jazz Band plays traditional early 20th century jazz and pre-1950 American standards in high-energy, exciting style. With one boot in the Deep South and the other in the Tin Pan Alley, the Bennington Traditional Jazz Band presents a dynamic mix of rhythmic complexity and nostalgia, old-time melodies, and they form the backbone of American popular music. Come on out for that. Food for purchase will be made available by New Morning Foods. And that's what we've got going on this week at the library. Meet you at the library.